for everyone, in case you missed it, His Excellency, <laughs> the Ambassador to Spain from Nigeria is going to give a special tribute to his wife, Her Excellency. Well, you piss it off. <laughs> Thank you so much, Uncle. Your Excellencies, my friends, Daddy, leave this up. My friends, all over. The staff has from Mission of uh, Madrid, of Nigeria. They are all here in full. A family member will have to experience the world of that. But here I want to talk about my best friend. Because I don't use the word best friends for all my friends, good friends. And I've trained my kids to know that. How do you use the word best friend? Because the best friend is you. And my grandmother told me, Mr. B, you call your best friend. But Mr. B is claiming Mr. C, his own best friend, and you're Mr. A. <laughs> so you're on your own. <laughs> so you're in a streamless bottom. So I have very good friends. I have quality friends. And all of them, one thing that is very lucid, and talk about my best friend, that was Sarah, because we're inseparable. Yeah. It's a fact that she cooks very, very well. <laughs> she has spoiled me to the extent that, left to me, local people will never make a die. Because I don't eat out. Quite a lot of times, even in the office, when I was in Lagos, she would bring my food by 7, 8. And she would bring me there, I'll eat. If I don't want to eat, if I have to get home early, which is very rare, very rare. Because <laughs> if I don't get home, she will not eat. And she would tell Taufik that, don't remember that, Mr. Seriki is still coming. <laughs> by the way, she calls me Mr. Seriki, but it has different meanings. If she says Mr. Seriki, that means I'm hearing <laughs> Mr. Seriki. Or maybe she discovered something along the line. Mr. Seriki. <laughs> but really, Mr. Seriki is serious business. <laughs> Was that a very, very respectful person? Very respectful. For a person of our background and of our upbringing, one will expect a degree of um, arrogance and may likely to arrogate so much to herself. Of course she was born with opulence. I know that. I know that. Countless number of times I would be in London with her, you know, that is Rose Rose would be taking us around. And I'm talking of late 80s and early 90s. Our first child is here. Where is Miss Ola? Oh, she's inside. Our kids are around. I'm telling you that uh, all our three kids, they can't make a decision without contacting me. Because so I would tell them, ah, tell you that you, I have no, no say in this matter. I remember when Alima um, finished university, I said, you're going to study law. Says she said, okay. But she told me that law is going to take a longer time to study an asset in more study law. Because the reason for that was that uh, I wanted to become a lawyer. But my father said, no, being that he was an accountant, he said that as a lawyer, I'll be belong to a bonus society, secret society, <laughs> court society. That if you don't, if you don't, if you're not a lawyer, you cannot win a case. <laughs> anyway. That's what brought led me to the United States. And after then, I came back. I went. To, I studied my law. When I was studying law, two years after I was writing my final exams, 
I was called upon to become a minister in 2007. And that's how it all examinated. So I saw Lima, I saw a lot of um, where we are and professionalism in her that she can she be a good lawyer. And not just a lawyer, but a practitioner. And this girl, I'll pick her up from the house to take her to LSAT school, law school admission test. She would purposely deny me that one. She said, Daddy, what about if I fail the exam? I said, well, I know you've not failed. You are a brilliant student. The lady, this young lady actually decided to flunk the exam. <laughs> but I know that was deliberate. I left her. She was in the house for one year, not doing anything. She said, am I going to work? I said, you're not working. Stay at home. <laughs> After one year, she walked to my room one day. Daddy, OK, I'm going to study law. I said, yeah, we go. <laughs> That's how she ended up in the of Leicester and read law. Came to Nigeria law school. Passed very well, thank God. I know she could do it. But all along, a mom did not interfere or interrupt in any of the discussion. She stood out and she rather support me. I can tell you that, Usala, you'll see gains and benefits of your kids by the grace of God. Amen. Because you have trained them to go through and to follow the biblical and Quranic approach in life. Because when there is a head of household, that head of household should detect everything that is happening. Unless that head of household is highly irresponsible. She is a complete segment of my affection. Honestly. Preach. Everything I've always wanted in a woman, I've discovered in her. She also has a, a very, very, very rich heart. Her heart is good because she's a high touch. She's very, very tolerant. I can be difficult. I know that. Because I stand by nobility. I will not compromise. I am very, very recalcitrant when it comes to standard. I'm always careful because many people at any given time would rather like to see you falling. Very few people want you thriving. So, and I've said to my kids, you have a name, you must protect your name. If you have a big name, you must protect it because your name is supposed to become a noble matter to you and you must treasure it. In fact, you must audit. I will not do anything that uh, I will help to become a scammer. <laughs> Ursula, thank you very much for tolerating <laughs> But it has a lot of gains and benefits because I have to compensate you. Is it time that I will come home? When she hears the on of the car, probably the gate is opening in the house in Lagos, she will get up. The next thing I, the next thing I see my wife is kitchen. I have to call her that I'm not eating, it's too late. But often, she won't let me go through any kind of hunger. And even when there is a degree of misunderstanding any time or anywhere, my food should not compromise it. And when I do a little thing for her, oh, I'm just almost two years older than her. She knew that she's going to call me, thank you, we should go. Everything, little thing I give to her, she will need and thank me. You take a full lot of appreciate as a woman. She's an embodiment of character. And I tell you what, she's so sweet as well. <laughs> nice. She is an embodiment of beauty. Because it goes back to the time I first met her. I saw a beauty that defies description. <laughs> Preach. Preach. 
she was sitting down, and by the time she started walking, it was the night of Joshua's wedding, in 1987, April. And by the time she stood up walking, I saw a good specimen of beauty. And I said that uh, there is no escape way for this lady. <laughs> Ever since then till date, no regrets. She deserves everything I can offer, honestly. She deserves everything. And she had, for me, three beautiful kids. They are gorgeous. They are very disciplined. And they are loyal to both of us. Because the mother will always tell them, your loyalty should be between me and your daddy. Whatever your father does not support, I will not be. She will not identify with them. And a lot of people, much, honestly, Osama must be a template of an institution in marriage. And people must really template that. Even my, the staffers that I just met in, um, in Madrid two months ago or thereabouts, where is Chidi? I'm here, sir. Yes. My wife calls you Mr. Chidi all the time, right? Yes, I know some ambassadors.